Centuries ago, humanity depleted the planet's resources, leading to widespread collapse. Desperate to save the dying world, top scientists discovered a renewable energy source. But the real threat still lingered, human nature itself. Differences between people cause deep divisions. To address this, it was decided that on their 16th birthday, everyone would undergo a procedure to become physically flawless. This way, envy and the need to prove superiority would disappear. Tally is one of those eagerly awaiting her turn. For now, she's considered ugly, but she's given a glimpse of her future appearance, choosing features like her eye color and skin texture. One evening, she sneaks out to meet her friend Paris on a bridge, where they watch a party in the city filled with the beautiful people. Paris is three months older and will undergo the procedure tomorrow, leaving Tally behind. She worries that he'll forget her once he moves to the city, but he promises they'll always be friends. He nicknames her Squints, while she calls him Nose. They agree to meet in a month. The next day, students gather in the main hall to celebrate those whose time has come. Dr. Cable talks about the advantages of becoming beautiful and calls for the next group. Paris bids Tally farewell and a girl named Shay notices their exchange. That night, Tally reminisces about meeting Paris at school, where they gave each other the nicknames Squints and Nose. After an incident where Paris hurt his hand, Tally intentionally cut her palm so they would both share scars, marks of their connection. In class the following day, Tally discusses the white tiger orchid, a flower that powers cities and decorates fields. Later, she undergoes a mandatory scan for her future transformation, selecting gold for her eye color. She dreams of reuniting with Paris, though she hasn't heard from him. When the day of their arranged meeting arrives, Tally sneaks out to the bridge, but Paris isn't there. Determined, she ventures into the city of the beautiful, reaching a lively party. A mask falls from above, allowing her to change her outfit. She puts it on, picks a dress, and searches for Paris among the lights, music, and laughter. Amazingly, she finds him, but Paris barely recognizes her. Even the scar on his hand is gone, despite his promise to keep it. After the transformation, it seems an ugly person's entire life changes, and even the bonds of friendship don't matter anymore. Tally removes her mask to remind Paris of who she is, but instead, she instantly becomes an outcast in the party. Panicking, she grabs a rescue vest and makes a run for it. Realizing she's about to be caught, Tally leaps from a skyscraper. The vest saves her life and she reaches the bridge, but her pursuers close in. Just as they're about to capture her, Shay arrives on a hoverboard, rescuing her in the nick of time. The two quickly bond, finding a sense of kindred spirit. Tally shows Shay how to sneak into the locked kitchen, confiding in her about the disappointment she felt after seeing Paris. One day, Shay encourages Tally to learn how to ride the hoverboard and gives her a forbidden book to read. Tally soon learns that Shay has been telling others about her daring jump with the rescue vest, and now she's become a campus hero, though this attention could jeopardize her chance for the operation. Despite the risks, she continues to practice and eventually masters the hoverboard. During a conversation about beauty, Shay surprises Tally by admitting that she doesn't want to undergo the transformation at all. She takes Tally to a training ground, where she expertly navigates the most difficult track, showing off her skills. Afterward, Tally returns the book, appreciating how it depicted the natural flow of seasons and relationships. Shay then proposes that they both refuse the operation and run away to a place called The Smoke, where people live freely. They leave their tracking rings on a branch and take off into the wildlands on their hoverboards, crossing a river and arriving at the ruins of an old city. Shay shows Tally what remains of a roller coaster, saddened by its destruction. She leads her to a tall building, where they light a signal fire to contact Shay's friends from the smoke. Shay explains that in the outside world, people live by their own rules, love freely, have children, and even grow old, just like the world described in the book they read. She reveals she had been planning to escape with her friend David, but changed her mind when she saw Tally on the bridge and decided to save her instead. Shay expresses her desire to read books and pursue hobbies, explaining that after the operation, people lose the ability to decide how they want to live. Tally, who has always dreamed of becoming beautiful, can't understand this. Frustrated, Shay leaves her with a coded path to the smoke and departs with David, whose signal fire appears on a nearby rooftop. Tally returns to the city, where the day of her transformation arrives. However, instead of going through with the procedure, she is taken to Dr. Cable, who reveals that she knows all about Tally's friendship with the missing Shay. Dr. Cable insists that David has brainwashed Shay and is holding her against her will. She offers Tally a deal. If she finds Shay and brings her back, only then will she be allowed to undergo the operation and become beautiful. Distressed, Tally returns to her room, where Paris visits her. He advises her to follow Dr. Cable's orders so they can be together again. Reluctantly, Tally agrees. Dr. Cable informs her that the residents of the Smoke are planning to destroy the city and have developed a dangerous weapon. Tally's mission is to find and disable it. 
She is given a pendant to activate once she locates the weapon. Following Shay's instructions, Tally navigates through the ruins, riding the old roller coaster until she reaches an abandoned railroad track. She camps in the forest, lighting a fire and unexpectedly finding beauty in the natural world. The next day, she climbs a steep cliff and uses her hoverboard to cross the ruins, eventually reaching a vast sea of white orchids where she prepares to rest for the night. Meanwhile, Dr. Cable contacts Paris, offering to enhance him further. That night, Tally awakens surrounded by burning orchids. Just as she's about to lose consciousness, David rescues her. He checks her for transmitters, discards the ones he finds but overlooks the inactive pendant. He takes Tally with him, unaware of the hidden tracker informing Dr. Cable that Tally has reached the correct location. The next morning, David brings Tally to the smoke, where she reunites with Shay. However, the others find it suspicious that Tally managed to make the journey all on her own. Tally worries about Shay and feels she should return, but Shay is determined to stay and urges Tally to understand their way of life. The next day, Tally encounters a group of young people preparing for an expedition. She learns that the orchids are toxic and harming the planet, leading the group to set them on fire. David invites her to join them on a mission aboard an old, modified helicopter. From the air, they see the damage caused by the orchids. Shay sets the plants ablaze, revealing figures walking through the fire unharmed. The helicopter suddenly shakes and Shay falls. Tally jumps after her, rescuing her just as a figure in a blue suit approaches. They grab onto a rope thrown from the helicopter and are pulled to safety. Later, Tally and Shay discuss the incident with Tally feeling conflicted. She begins to appreciate the smoke's way of life, where people work and trade without money, and the elderly contribute meaningfully. Unlike the city where people are controlled by their appearances, the smoke values freedom and self-sufficiency. Tally joins in the work and finds it fulfilling. During an evening gathering, David mentions that the city's scouts are still pursuing them, highlighting the contrast between the city's focus on appearance and the smoke's emphasis on personal freedom. The next day, David teaches Tally how to use a bow, noticing the calluses on her hands and gives her his gloves as a gift. Their moment is interrupted by an attack from flamethrowers, who are unusually fast and strong. She explains that in the smoke or someone shows care for another, it signifies their importance. Tally now faces a significant choice regarding her future. One day, Tally inquires about the weapons with David, who takes her to his parents. They reveal that they were formerly plastic surgeons and that the operations aren't as safe as they seem. Their research uncovered that these procedures led to brain damage and a false sense of happiness. Dr. Cable discovered this and had David's parents removed from their work with the research results seized. It became apparent that the brain was deliberately harmed to control people. David's parents were fortunate to join a community that provided a sanity-preserving medicine, which is why they flood and dedicated themselves to finding a cure. However, a crucial component of the serum is still in the city. The serum is considered a weapon, but it's incomplete. Once they obtain the missing part, they'll need a volunteer for testing. That night, Tally reflects on what she's learned, discards the pendant into the fire, unintentionally activating it. She tells David what happened, and he reassures her that she made the right choice. He tells her she is beautiful and kisses her. The next morning, the city launches an attack on the smoke, capturing its residents in nets and gathering them in the square. Tally and David observe from a distance. Dr. Cable interrogates David's parents and, when they refuse to talk, orders Paris to kill David's father. Paris swiftly kills him and David, along with his mother, grieves. Paris spots Tally but does not harm her. Dr. Cable thanks Tally for her cooperation and reveals her true mission, causing Shay to express her disgust. David's mother discreetly gives him a vial of the medicine. Tally breaks free, sets David's house on fire, and, amid the chaos, David escapes into the forest. Tally shoots a pursuer with a bow and runs while the townspeople destroy the settlement and capture its residents. Later, Tally finds David and apologizes for not knowing the full truth. She's ready to help him return to the city and correct her mistakes. She takes him to the school, introduces him to Shay's friends, and asks for their help. The young people start a rebellion, writing smoke forever on the city's walls to distract from their real objective. Tally and David sneak into the laboratory, but discover that Shay has already been taken for the operation. Tally, David, and his mother rush after Shay, but they arrive too late. Shay has already undergone the transformation and is pleased with her new appearance. At this moment, Paris and Dr. Cable arrive at the lab, urging everyone to make their final decision. All three enter the transformation booths, but just as the process begins, a helicopter arrives and David's friend uses a flamethrower to break the outer glass, causing the system to fail. Tally rescues Shay, and David's mother retrieves the vital component for the antidote as they make their escape. The group reaches the rooftop, but is confronted by Paris. Tally tries to remind him of their past friendship, but he reaches out, and David, remembering his father's death, attacks Paris. 
After a struggle, Paris is left hanging over a waterway. At the last moment he recognizes Tally, but he loses his grip and falls. David then leads Tally away. Later, the group gathers in the ruins of an old city. David's mother reveals the component she recovered and retrieves the antidote from her son's pocket. The antidote is now complete, but Shay declines to be the test subject as she enjoys her beauty. Tally volunteers to return to the city to undergo the procedure and then act as a test subject. Though risky, she feels confident in her decision. Sometime later, Tally, now transformed into a beauty, surveys the city. When the system inquires about her happiness, she reassures it that she is entirely satisfied with her new appearance. The film leaves many questions unanswered, including the city's motives as the beauties contribute only self-admiration and the threat from the smoke remains vaguely defined. However, the stunning visuals encourage viewers to enjoy the beautiful scenery while overlooking the plot's inconsistencies.